Hello again, Andy with HandyAndyHome.com and you can usually find us in that truck right there. And we're out on a project in Canton looking at some small repairs for a client up here. And it's real basic stuff. On the right front corner of the house, they had this house repainted a couple years ago by another company, real quick and dirty job. Hardy plank siding, sprayed it, whatever. So there's a few things going on with this particular house. So he's got some, on the right front corner, he's got some soffit that's rotted back behind here, behind this holly bush. And it's a combination of two things. See all the rot right here in the soffit in the right front corner. He's got three by four downspouts, which is great, but they put five inch gutters on this house, which is most of what the builders did. This roof is way too steep for a five inch gutter. And you can see all the streaking in his gutters as we go around the house. They're just not handling the water flow. And so here it's coupled up with, it's a combination. I'll zero in on here a little bit. See all that streaking? As soon as you see that black streak, it lets you know there's something wrong with your gutters. It's got adequate pitch judging at it from here, uh, but my boys will need to check it with a hose. But with this pitch of roof, you gotta have a six inch gutter here. Some of the areas of five inch will do okay. His roof here is just so steep, like you can see it on the garage side right here. The water's just streaming over the top of it, and on the back of the gutters, the water's actually getting behind the gutters, which is filling up and then it's flowing behind. So he doesn't have rotted wood there, but he will. Here on top of it, uh, you can't really see it in the video too well, but he's got open tow board holes about six inches above this gutter on the roof line, and we can just seal those. Uh, but on this particular gutter, if you can't afford to do six inches all the way around, probably wants to bite the bullet and at least do six inches just on this piece right here. The rest of the house, pretty good shape. There's a little bit of rotted trim up here that the painter just kind of painted over, and you can see the discoloration in this right brick mold on the front dormer. See that corner, how dark it is? That piece is rotted. It's left and right on this right dormer, and it's the right brick mold on the left dormer right here. You can kind of see it right there. Once you start to see that wrinkle in the wood, you know it's rotted. So they can go ahead and piece that piece. And the problem with this stuff is a lot of times the contractors that come out, they'll replace spot replace wood, but they don't back prime anything. They don't seal it with the top rated materials like we do. And you're just going to have trouble. He doesn't have it right now, but something to see, and you'll see it. See all the streaking on this gutter at the front porch? This front porch gutter takes a third of the, of the roof line of this house. So it's just totally overwhelmed as a five inch gutter in this corner right here. And you can see all the streaking. The other thing they did here, it hasn't rotted out yet, but it looks like he's done some repair work in this corner. See the screws in the bottom of the gutters? We talk about this stuff all the time because we see it all the time. Why would you put screws in the bottom of your gutter? That's what's conducting the water. So it's gonna leak and it's gonna rot over time. And you can see it's leaked a little bit and it's just starting to rot this corner of the fascia board. I don't think it's rotted through yet, uh, but our boys will check it when they come out. If it doesn't need to be fixed, he needs to at least seal these if he can't afford new gutters. And it's the same thing in this corner right here. Eventually it'll leak and it'll rot this corner out. On the front of the garage, the right front garage, and this kills me with this stuff, is that he had the house repainted, but they didn't mention him the flashing. So you see where the flashing is here, and it never sealed the bottom edge here and it overlaps. It's been catching water. So right here is rotted through. I can put my finger through it. Over here, the flashing is non existent. So this top of the garage really needs to be reflashed, have this one by six replaced. And the flashing on your house or this house should extend three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half beyond the outside edge of this trim. It's really crucial on, on windows, but even more so on garage doors like this because what ends up happening is there's usually a break in this slab and the moisture that gets behind here with hardy plank siding, it's dry rotting the framing beyond it, but even more importantly, uh, the moisture that gets in there draws termites. And so we see a lot of termite damage in garage areas and framing around garages because of flashing and caulking issues like this one right here. So outside of that, that's really all he has to do in this house. We'll be happy to help him out with it. Anything you need to do in a house, Handy Andy's been out here 25 years. I'm usually in that little truck right there, so wave and say hi. You can catch us at 770-912-2829. I'm Andy. We'll see you at the next house. Bye for now.